This is the morning office for March 15th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 34, verses 15 to 22. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to root out the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears them, and delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted, and will save those whose spirits are crushed. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but the Lord will deliver them out of them all. He will keep safe all their bones, not one of them shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. The Lord ransoms the life of his servants, and none will be punished who trust in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. They reasoned unsoundly, saying to themselves, Short and sorrowful is our life. Let us lie in wait for the righteous man, because he is inconvenient to us, and opposes our actions. He reproaches us for sins against the law, and accuses us of sins against our training. He professes to have knowledge of God and calls himself a child of the Lord. He became to us a reproof of our thoughts. The very sight of him is a burden to us because his manner of life is unlike that of others and his ways are strange. We are considered by him as something base and he avoids our ways as unclean. He calls the last end of the righteous happy and boasts that God is his father. Let us see if his words are true. And let us test what will happen at the end of his life. For if the righteous man is God's child, he will help him and will deliver him from the hand of his adversaries. Let us test him with insult and torture so that we may find out how gentle he is and make trial of his forbearance. Let us condemn him to a shameful death for according to what he says, he will be protected. Thus they reasoned, but they were led astray for their wickedness blinded them and they did not know the secret purposes of God, nor hoped for the wages of holiness, nor discerned the prize for blameless souls. For God created us for incorruption and made us in the image of his own eternity. But through the devil's envy, death entered the world, and those who belong to his company experience it. The Word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. An author on the subject of silence says that the silence of love resembles the sounds of the angels' wings as they carry out the commands of God. That could be a kind of a, a fluffy image if we don't take care to note what it means. We're talking here, when we speak of love, of divine love, not really of infatuation. The love of God, which may or may not be well represented in our own actions and thoughts and emotions, but nonetheless, 
The silence of love here is referring to the loving silence of God. And the angels, of course, are outworkings of God's purposes. We have come in modern times to imagine angels as independent, sort of odd people who have a special job. But in reality, as Christians, we understand angels to be the way that God achieves what God desires in the world. So what we're talking about when we talk about the silence of love resembling the sound of angels' wings is that in that silence, we discover God's true purposes in the silence that we are sometimes able to achieve, at least momentarily, we have a glimpse of what it is God desires and how it is God desires to do it. So perhaps that's something to hope for in our silence, that we will have a fleeting hint of the sound of angels' wings around us when we are in that silent place. I ask your prayers for the day, the world, and for the church. Pray for our neighbors, those whom we agree with, those whom we disagree with. Pray that we will live peaceably with everyone. The same is true for the world. Pray that we as humanity will learn to live peaceably together. It seems to have been difficult for us through most of our history, but hope springs eternal, and perhaps God's purposes will yet be worked out. And finally, pray for the church, that in its works, in its worship, in its common life, it may offer to the world an example of what it means to live peaceably in the presence of God. O oh God, you have given us the good news of your abounding love in your Son, Jesus Christ. So fill our hearts with thankfulness that we may rejoice to proclaim the good tidings we have received. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.